Hey guys, I'm here with another book call. Uh, it's been a while and actually I totally followed through with my book buying ban for Lent and I actually a couple of days after didn't buy anything so I should get extra credit for going above and beyond. Um, I haven't actually gone crazy since I went off my book buying ban. Um, I have bought more than normal ebooks but that's justifiable because they don't take up space. We'll go with that. Um, I did buy a couple in the past couple of weeks. Um, one of which was the most recent James Patterson Women's Murder Club. Twelfth of Never, I think that's what it's called. I've already read it. I've already passed along to somebody else to read, so I don't have it to show you. Um, and it's on my nook. I'm not going to pull it out and thumb through and try to show it to you. But it's Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. Or Rowell. That was such an adorable book. If you have not read it or if you have it and you're waiting to read it, soon. It's, I'm not a crier at books much. Yeah, I was, <laughs> it happened. Yeah, I'm not ashamed to say that. Um, but I'll just start with what I have. Um, one is really exciting. The rest of them, I mean, they're books. They're exciting, but they're not anything like, ta-da. Um, I have The Rum Diary by Hunter S. Thompson, which is the movie cover, which he's pretty. He's pretty. I think this was the one. It was at Hastings. Buy two, get one free. I'm thinking this was the free one. Um, oh, I put this in my readathon video, but I got It's Kind of a Funny Story by Ned Vizzini, Vizzini which I'm actually reading. I'm that far through. Um, How to Talk to a Widower by Jonathan Tropper. And it has... Jack Daniels on it. I like Jack Daniels. Don't tell anybody. Um, then I have E, a novel by Matt Beaumont. It's one of those that's told in emails. And honestly, it came out like 10 years ago, so it's I'm fairly certain it's going to be dated, but it was... Yeah, 3 for 99 cents. So I got it for 33 cents. I'm not complaining. And this was another one of the three for 99 cents. Um, a Round Healed Woman by Jane Jessica. Um, let's see, what else? And we'll go ahead and put the exciting one first. Okay, this just came out in January. And I know everybody's complaining about the new cover. I agree. It's crap. It doesn't match the other ones. But the fact that I just bought this brand new book for two ninety nine only because it's a little bent up. Yeah, I don't care about that. There was only one copy at Ollie's, and I snatched it up. It's Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. And no, I've not read the first two, but for $3, this came home. Um, I have Close to Famous by Joan Bauer. It's about cupcakes, so we're going to be all over that one. Um, Sirens by Janet Fox. Like I kept looking at this and thinking it's an alternate cover that I might own the hardback. And if I do, I'll have to give this one away. Um, Hope Was Here by Joan Bauer, which I did not realize until now that... I don't know if they're a series, but I'll look into that. Um, I think I saw this on Misty the Book Rat's channel, actually, and it... The cover is really plain but pretty. Um, Amelia is Amelia Ann is dead and gone by Kat Rosenfield. I like the cover of oh, the cover. The spine. Um, Small Damages by Beth Kephart. Catalyst Laurie Hall Sanderson. Lucid by Adrian Stoltz and Ron Bass. Um, the Waiting Sky by Laura Zeeland. And this one is a really pretty cover. And what drew me to it is it's about a, um, like a tornado chaser. And one of my favorite movies is Twister. I really love it. Um, and the last one, I'm loving this cover. It's so pretty. 
um, The Treachery of Beautiful Things by Ruth Frances Long. So it's really, really pretty. Um, that's basically all I have book books. I have a lot on my nook. I'm not really sure that any of them are noteworthy. I'll look. Oh, I know I mentioned this one on my readathon, and yes, you can judge me. Um, it's The Long Hard Road Out of Hell by Marilyn Manson. I bought it mainly because it was two dollars and ninety nine cents and because in my youth he was all <gasps> scary anti you know, the Christian people didn't like him. It's oddly fascinating and I can't put it down, so that's okay. Oh yeah, I did get this one. It's oh hang on. I'm terrible at this. I should be more prepared. Come on. Any day now. Okay. It's on the island. Ugh, this is terrible. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a, better, a little bit better. It's on the island by Tracy Garvis Graves. And it's basically this teacher um, agrees to go with her student on an island and be his tutor for the summer the plane crashes and they're stuck on a deserted island and he grows up and he's of age and I don't know if it's going to be some romance brown chicken brown cow kind of thing but it sounded like a really good beach read um let me look and see if I have anything else noteworthy mm, yeah I guess The Art of Fielding by Chad Harbach which is about baseball and I like baseball um yeah I do have quite a few more um I Hunt Killers by Barry Liga um Alex Cross Run by James Patterson The Selection by Kira Cass Bells by Jen Jen Kalanita and um, I'm thinking that's it. Oh, I don't think I mentioned this one. Silver Linings. Boo! Come on. Oh, it's got the ugly cover. Boo! It's Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. I haven't seen the movie. But that's the gist of it. Like I told you, I actually bought a few more ebooks than I thought. But that's it for now. I don't think I have any really that are scheduled for me to buy. So I guess it'll just be whatever catches my eye. Um, but let me know what you're reading. Um, that's it for me now. I'll try to be good and not have John or Respa calls, but that's what you like to watch. So we'll see. Um, but I will talk to you guys later. Bye.